Well, good morning. Here I am at Nickerson Beach after another great morning. Tons of blast off blurs, southwest wind, and I've been wanting to do this video on the monopod, the robust monopod, and the Wimberley monoball head for the whole trip. It's really been the first opportunity we've had to do it. So to be honest, this is the 4028 Sony A1. The robust monobar, there's a link for robust monopod, there's a link for that. And the Wimbley monoball head, there'll be a link for that. And this is actually the first time I've taken the 4028 and the monopod out of the vehicle in 30 days of photography. So when I first got the monopod, I was intrigued by it. I used it a lot at Indian Lake Estates, and I figured out ways to use it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is mounting the lens. I like to clamp on the top and you want to absolutely balance the rig to perfection. And the beauty of the Wimbley mono ball is that it's a gimbal head. And as long as you balance it, you're not going to have terrible flop either up or down. Uh, as far as carrying the rig, you can tighten the, cl the clamp on the left and Hold the lens like this. When I do that, I tend to hit into my leg. So unless I'm walking into a stiff wind, I put the lens facing forward. I balance it like this. And this is much better than putting any rig on your shoulder, where you're going to do long-term damage. And however you're holding it, your rotator cuff muscles are in a stressed position. So we've got the thing balanced. We've got it mounted. And the real use for monopod mono gimbal setup is for flight photography with heavy lenses. Now I know there's friends, there's folks like my friend Joe Prisbyla who shoots the 500 PF Nikon or the 200 to 500 or the 100 to 400 with the D500 that uses the monopod for every shot. That is not me and that's not going to be me. For me, if I'm going to take something in the field, it might as well be a tripod that's much more stable. The monopod can get you into tight spots quicker, you have more mobility, but it's just not going to replace the tripod because you have to support the thing and you, especially me, as I mentioned in the blog a bunch of times, I can't hold still for a second. So for flight, especially with heavy lenses like the 400-2.8, uh, it can be fantastic. So you'll notice that naturally I slant the monopod I don't keep it square to the ground if you do that then your rig is side heavy it's torquing but if you put the center of gravity of the lens directly over the foot of the monopod then you're going to be balanced hey I'm inside there trying to concentrate you know? we have a guy who just came out of the crapper and he, <laughs> we were bothering him good morning good morning anyway I thought you were in the other room. <laughs> no worries. So again, I'm always going to keep this just tilted to, to my left, your right. And that brings up another huge point with monopods is that you absolutely need a lens that rotates smoothly in the tripod collar. The Sony 200 to 600 sticks. A bunch of the Canon Super Telephotos were terrible. I used to joke and say, I need an oil filter wrench to turn them. So why is it important that this thing rotate in the, in the tripod collar? As you're panning with a bird, you're naturally going to be rotating uh, the lens to say approximately square. It's not going to be as if you're using a flexure to pro head, where once you level the head, everything is square. You're responsible, like in the old days, for letting the lens rotate as you pan with the birds. So I have pretty much two different methods for doing birds in flight, depending on the situation. One last thing, you want to have the, the monopod for flight. You want to have the lens up by your face. If you see somebody shooting flight with a tripod or a monopod and they're crouched down, tell them to stand up and get a life. You want to have a nice, comfortable posture. I, crowd, I, I bend my neck a tiny bit. So I'm going to be using this thing for flight primarily. I did
did some great stuff with it on the pier at ILE with the teleconverter, resting the monopod against the, uh, the railing, doing some still, but in general, I'm going to want to be on a tripod, especially with the 600. So my two techniques that I mentioned in the blog are as follows for flight, holding the tightening knob and keeping it pretty loose and holding it there and just panning with the bird, again rotating the lens in the barrel as I pan. The second way that I came up with is even better and this really almost makes the monopod into a sky hook where I put my left hand under the base of the hood and all this is doing is supporting the weight of the monopod. So you don't have, you know, it's not like hand holding a 400, 200 or a 600, where you have to have the lens at your side in a rest position and then pick it up. So when you need to get a load off, the monopod might be just the thing for you. But for me, it's never going to replace uh, shooting the 600 F4 off a tripod. Have a great day. Sun's almost coming out. It's time to go pack and get on the auto train. And thanks to Anka Freulich for creating the video. Have a great day.